This is woodland. Barn owls are not woodland birds. The only way we could make this suitable for barn owls is to have big clearings or big rides and keep them clear. That's a lot of work. So woodland is not the right habitat for barn owls. Barn owls in Northern Europe don't hunt in built up or suburban areas. So let's head out into the open countryside. This is pasture, that just means grazed grassland and it's usually intensively grazed. The grass is short, because it's very, very short, there's no cover, there's nowhere for small mammals to hide. This is completely the wrong habitat for barn owls. Look at this, you think, wow, that's brilliant, the grass is really long, but take a closer look. It's just rye grass and white clover, that's all there is in most of the pasture you see today. And it's temporary, it's gonna be cut for silage probably twice a year, or it's gonna be grazed off. It's no good for small mammals, so it's no good for barn owls. This is an arable field. Arable just means a field where crops are grown. This particular one is oilseed rape. Most of the year it's bare, there's no food for barn owls here at all. This field is winter barley. Now because it's sown in the autumn instead of the spring, there's no stubble field in the winter. There may be some mice in here just before the crop is harvested and maybe afterwards, but most of the year this is the wrong habitat for barn owls as well. Hey, this is good. Now this is what's called winter stubble. That means that a cereal crop has been taken but the ground wasn't ploughed up. When they take the cereal crop, very often little bits of grain are left on the ground and this is an important food resource for wildlife in the winter and mice will go out into the stubble field and barn owls stand a good chance of catching them. So this can be a good barn owl habitat. This is rough grassland. This is way and above the best habitat for barn owls in the UK. It contains small mammals all the year round, mainly field voles, but also wood mice and common shrews. These three species alone account for 82% of what barn owls in the UK eat. So if we want to encourage barn owls, this is what we need to create, rough grassland. All kinds of things can make grassland look rough. Sometimes there's bracken or there's nettles or there's brambles or something, but here it's the grass itself that makes it look rough. It's so thick and that's the fantastic thing for barn owls and for small mammals is the cover. Small mammals can hide here and the best thing of all is the litter layer. Now if we part the green grass and look down, we can see this dead looking flat grass. That is the previous year's grass, which has collapsed and is now being grown through. You can approximate the depth of it by the length of your index finger. This is about seven centimeters deep. It's fantastic. And this is where field voles will make their tunnels. And you can see here, look, where the field voles come out to graze. They basically just eat grass. So they're nibbling off the grass around here, carrying it back into their little tunnels. And this is full of voles. And it's also a fantastic habitat for lots of other things too. And when we arrived here to do this bit of filming, right here, look, there's fresh deer droppings. We see a lot more deer in rough grassland than we do in short grass. And look, we've got wild flowers. These are celandines. We have a succession of wild flowers that, that, that appear and benefit loads of different insects and butterflies through the year. This is barn owl heaven. This is a fantastic habitat for barn owls and lots of other wildlife. So let's make some rough grassland. <laughs> A litter layer is just the previous year's grass that's died back. Stop the grazing or cutting and just let the grass grow through the spring and the summer. It'll collapse by late summer and provide the cover needed by voles. When we created this time-lapse sequence, we had no idea that field voles were going to tunnel right through it. Within a year or two, you'll have a really thick litter layer, providing even more cover for voles and the new grass growth will come up through it. Rough grassland does need to be managed, otherwise it will become overgrown with brambles and scrub and bracken. Basically the best way is to graze it with cattle. The best time of year for cattle to graze rough grassland is at any period from late summer through to late winter. If you don't have cattle, another option is to use a topper. When you cut, 
Do not cut down to ground level. You've got to retain that little layer where the voles find their cover. You want to be four, five inches, that's about 130 mil above the ground when you cut. If it's a small area you need to manage, then a strimmer is ideal. Whole fields of rough grass are fantastic, but in reality, most land has to be managed for human food production, for farming. So very often the answer is a strip, a field margin, perhaps six metres wide like that. Rough grassland strips are perfect for barn owls. You can find more information on the Barn Owl Trust website and if you'd like to make a donation to support this work, that would be wonderful.